So let's try an extrude straight away. And we want to have a new solid. And our profile is our text. And the extends is between this surface and then our outside surface. So we click on OK. And our brand is here. A little side note here. So extruding our text, that went pretty well, but there can be other occasions when you're trying to do this with different models that it doesn't work so well. What could help in a situation like this is that you cut away some of the surfaces in the areas where you don't need it. That you only have a piece of uh, surface left over on the place where you want your extrusion. So in this case, if I had any problems, I would just use one of these origin planes then as the cutting tool and cut away one half of the surface so that it becomes more clear for inventor where exactly the solid has to be created. So we're going to work now only with our latest solid. So in our solid bodies folder, we make these two others invisible. Switch that off. And also this surface that we created, we don't need it anymore. Let's switch there also the visibility off. So now with only my text here visible, I want to do some filleting. Go to the fillet command. And there I can just select my solid. And to have all edges selected, I'll select all fillets and all rounds here. And a radius of 0 0.5 will do. Click on OK. And we get a message box that the number of edges could not be uh, blended at the current size. But we can accept the ones which were successful. And I think that's one of the best new features of the last years that Inventor did. Before 2015, I believe, a fillet operation was either successful or not successful. And if it was not successful, you very often didn't have any clue exactly where the problem was situated. So it was a lot of trial and error. So now we just have the possibility to accept all the edges that could be successfully blended and skip over the other ones. So we can do them later on manually. So we accept our successful blends, OK. And that looks good. So we see here exactly where the edges have not been uh, successful. We can do that manually. But we have another problem which you might have noticed already because we took all the edges on the full solid just because we don't like manual selecting things. Also on the back side of our text, these fillets have been applied. This probably will give us a problem when we have to combine our solids. All these fillets will create a nasty gap stem between our combined solids. So to deal with that, what we should have done before we did our fillet is do a tick and offset command on the back or a direct edit or something. But what is the most easy thing to do is we just go to back to our extrusion here, edit that feature. And with extends, we will choose a different starting plane. So we click here and we go to our origin plane here. And then the text starts all the way from the middle. We click OK. Now our text looks like this. Now we can do our manual filleting also at 0 0.5. So this is looking good now. I think we can move over to our other part, which is the outside of our canister.